Hello, uh, my name's David. I'm from uh, the Primate team here at ZSL London Zoo. And as you can see, the zoo is completely closed, completely empty. So here we have our four beautiful Hanuman Langers. So here we have Rex, he's our dominant male. And he is joined by Lucy. In the back is Saffron. And sitting beside Rex here is his daughter, Kamala. So it's a wonderful group of four. And as you can see, with the sound of Tori's bell ringing, they knew that it was a sign for them to come over to us. And the reason they came over to us is something called positive reinforcement. So they, knew, so they know that that bell is associated with a tasty treat. In this case, what have we got, Tori? We have delicious nuts. We have a variety of delicious nuts. So whenever that bell rings, they know there's going to be a Tori. treat for them. Say hello, Tori and David. And we're just doing a simple scatter feed for our 18 squirrel monkeys. So you can see they're coming out on the island here. Scatter feed is a really simple form of enrichment. It means that they can forage around, go through the long grass, go through the trees and search for their food. Today they've been given locusts. It's one of their favorite live foods alongside mealworms. Now this enrichment is exceptionally important now with the zoo being closed because with this walkthrough, it's one of our most popular ones and the, uh, the general public do like to come in here and they actually provide stimulant and enrichment for our monkeys. These guys do. So the we now need to really up the game when it comes to enrichment just to make sure they're stimulated and occupied and being busy all day. Now we do. But they are missing everybody, so as soon as the zoo is open, be sure to come back and visit these guys. But we are keeping them entertained, well fed, and they are very happy out in the sun. So I'm glad you got the seam today and hopefully see you soon. Now ringtail coatis are found living in South America, high up in the treetops and they're incredibly agile which means that they can jump around right into the very very tops of the trees and they can do things like this. How cool is that? She can hang completely upside down by her ankles. Now this is Zena everybody and she is one of our stars here in Super Species Live. She is of course a beautiful serval. Now, servers are found living in Africa and they are ferocious predators out in the wild and they actually have one of the cleanest kills out of the animal kingdom. She has incredible long legs which means that she can run at speeds of up to 20 miles per hour and she can even jump directly six foot straight into the sky or in front of her. They go by the names of Cassius, Tudgers, Macbeth and Oberon. They are, of course, our family of domesticated pole cat ferrets. So their routine, what they have to do is they have to run out through that tunnel, come to the rocks, and then when they're done, they have to run off in that direction so that they can go behind the scenes where they get a lovely, big, tasty bit of meat. So I'm now in work uh, inside our Polynesian tree snail breeding room. That's rows of tanks on the wall there containing different species. Most of these are extinct in the wild or incredibly rare. Um, normally this breeding room is on display but you can see there's no one watching me today which is a real shame and prefer people to see the work that's going behind the scenes. Uh, so I'm going to be spending a few hours in here today cleaning out the snails. I've got one on the table here ready to do. This is Parchula navigatoria which is a species that's um, extinct in the wild. Uh, so it depends totally on captive breeding for their survival. Us and several other zoos are keeping this species and putting them back into the wild where we can. Some of these have gone back to Polynesia where they belong. Because it's uh, where all the domestic animals live and we're really lucky here at the zoo because <laughs> we can actually uh, bring some of our animals out for a walk every day. So this is Kiri and this is Karen, one of the keepers. <laughs> We've just taken our two Cooney Cooney pigs for a walk. So Kiri at the front and then Rika at the back. So these guys are trained to have a little harness put on. And then we can take them for a walk around the zoo and go and enjoy some grass. Bye ladies! 